and I'm looking around, I'm looking around, and then I look straight, and there's a guy standing, like, inches from my face, staring at me outside the window, and I was like, ah! <laughs> it was like, a, it was like one of those scary movies where you're just, like, mad at the person because what the hell are they doing? And so I just turned and ran, and I ran up the stairs, and I fell, <laughs> fell up the stairs. Wow. And then I, and then I knocked some sense into me. I was like, oh, wait, maybe I should go wake up my boyfriend. <laughs> Because it was like two o'clock in the morning, and it turned out the people had gotten robbed next to us, and the, like a guy had gotten like like pistol whipped on his head and Ow. stuff, and then like they hopped the robbers hopped over the um, the the fence to our balcony. Is and that that the robbers were wow. staring at you. <laughs> yeah, so it wow, was really scary. you were smart to run. You scared him too, and he ran. Yeah, yeah. So he, but then the last night we were there, we actually you're really lucky that he ran instead yeah. of running after you. I was terrified. Well, the door, I mean, it was locked, so the window was closed and everything. I just saw him real close, and it was scary. But it freaked you out. I it bet. totally freaked me That would me out. freak me out for life. Yeah. And then the last day we were there, um, me and Edwin were sleeping, and then, like, because after that incident, we had guards that were, that stood at our house. Standing. They had, like, with machetes and stuff, but, like, oh, cool. so they were supposed to, like, keep, like, walk around the grounds and check to make sure everything's fine. And they would walk around with flashlights, so... This last night, though, that we were there, we saw a flashlight walking by, and then it, like, shined in our room, and I was like, I was like, baby, wake up, what is that? And he's like, oh, it's just Solomon just checking everything. I was like, but why are they shining the light in here? <laughs> and then so we woke everybody up in the room, and then, like, we looked, like, kind of hid by the window and looked down, and you could see, like, four guys crouching with, like, a crowbar, and, like, they were trying to pry open our window. Wow. <laughs> it was terrifying. That's pretty horrifying. <laughs> wow. You know... Even in, when we were in Nairobi, even, there was a lot of, that we had lived in a little complex, what I think, six houses, and they were all expatriates, mm -hmm. and we had a guard outside in front with a gun. Yeah. You know, I kept meaning to ask you over and over again, you know those uh, knives I've got from Nepal, mm -hmm. those, what are they called? Knives. Huh? Gherkins. Gherkin knife. Gherkins. Oh. Edwin might like one. Maybe, yeah. I kept needing to ask him. Give your boyfriend a knife. That's a great idea. No, I'm giving him a knife. Better than giving your girlfriend a knife. Do you know what my dad said? Keep it in my knife. Well, you know what my dad always. My dad. This is something from my something from my dad regarding women and knives. My dad says that shaving was invented by women. Because only a woman would have a man get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and take a cold steel blade to his throat. But I'm bum. <laughs> Mom, I have a question. This is your first birthday without Tom. From my point of view, it's your best one. From your point of view? That's great. It's fun. Yeah. You have family here that are enjoying themselves with you. <laughs> instead of having fights and arguments and nastiness. It's okay, I like it. I'm happy. Good. Very good. And you look very pretty in that color. I'm surprised you never picked that color out I've for yourself before. Color. It's really good on you. It's really flattering. Your girls did a great job. Who picked it out? I don't know who went to get it. Probably Marlene. Marlene is a really good dresser. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Clothes don't look that good on her, but she wears very good expensive clothes. <laughs>